Hi, this is Jatin Paranspe with my analysis on yesterday's India vs Bangladesh match. At the Gahunji Stadium in Pune, uh, the wicket is normally great to bat on and that's exactly how it was yesterday as well. Uh, Bangladesh couldn't put up much of a total and it was the 257 was way below par and India cantered to an easy win. Instead of focusing too much on the match, I want to focus on three important parts of, of India's way forward and why I think they will be very, very tough to beat. So the first point I'd like to make today is India's dominance in the middle overs, uh, what I term as offensive defense. And that is mainly due to uh, Ravindra Jadeja. He is bowling at the top of his game and uh, bowling beautifully. Yesterday on a complete batting paradise, he kept the ball out of the range of the batsman at all the time and this is allowing Kuldeep Yadav to kind of bowl a little more freely as well. Uh, so, so this combination of uh, Ravindra Jadeja and Kuldeep Yadav gives India that offensive defence in the middle overs where normally teams are just trying to contain runs but India while containing runs is also able to attack and take wickets in those overs. Adding to this shoot captaincy by Rohit Sharma where he brings in Siraj and Bumrah at regular intervals for a one or two over burst during the middle overs. So there is always a wicket taking intent of this Indian team which is great to see. Now to be fair, uh, this entire middle overs kind of formation by India will be tested against better batting lineups uh, which are South Africa, New Zealand and England. Uh, Bangladesh uh, you know, is, is a good side but not as good as the other three teams that I mentioned. Uh, so, so the first point which I wanted to make was this offensive defence by India. The second point is a rather troubling injury to uh, Hardik Pandya. With ankles, it is very tough to get back on your feet within a few days. So I expect him to be out for maybe one, maybe even two games. Uh, but it didn't look that serious. Uh, so I think he will be back on his feet. But that puts into uh, play so many permutations and combinations about the playing eleven. I think the way they will go is they'll pick either Surya or Ishan, Ishan Kishan uh, to bolster the batting at number six. I think Surya will be will be the choice there uh, because that will that will give a genuine batsman at number six, uh, which is which is very much needed in a 50-over game. And then they will have to take the field with only five bowlers. Now now that's tough, uh, and I think they will go for the five most reliable bowlers. Uh, and I think that is where they will be tempted uh, in Dharamshala. Uh, to play Shami ahead of Shardul, uh, but for the rest of the games in Lucknow, for example, uh, against England, uh, if Hardik is still not fit, uh, then they would be tempted to play Ashwin because the Lucknow pitch will be slow and low. So, so that's point number two about Hardik Pandya, but it didn't look that serious. Uh, so I think he should be back uh, into uh, into the playing eleven uh, sooner rather than later. The third part was that fantastic knock by Virat Kohli yesterday. Uh, you know, he is uh, looking on the top of his game uh, and he is, uh, you know, he is in control when he's chasing, he loves chasing totals and that's what we saw yesterday. Uh, you know, right from the time he came into bat, uh, he looked completely relaxed and was toying with the bowling. So now what happens is that with, with Rohit Sharma, Shubman Gill and Virat Kohli in this kind of form, it becomes imperative that if, if India, uh, if the opposition has to beat India, they need to get these three guys out very, very cheaply. Uh, so that becomes a little bit of a tall order for the opposition. And as I've maintained throughout this column, uh, throughout these videos, uh, that uh, India are the team to beat. But uh, there are still three big games uh, out of the next five, uh, England, New Zealand, South Africa. I think the New Zealand game is, is going to be an important one because India have never beaten New Zealand for the last 20 years in a World Cup game. In bilateral games, you know, it's a different story. But in World Cup games, somehow uh, New Zealand manages to, uh, you know, beat India. So it's going to be a fantastic game uh, uh, in Dharamshala and I will be here to talk about it uh, uh, as soon as it happens. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon. 